Hey y'all, this is David, the Georgia Photographer, and today I want to talk about the complexity with the Canon um, breech lock mount lenses and getting them on your adapters. What I have is the Canon 58mm f1.2 breech lock lens. The breech lock lenses are unique in that they don't have a standard bayonet. Let me get a bayoneted lens. A standard bayoneted lens has a brass, chrome plated brass 90% of the time, sometimes they're plastic, has a mount that has three lugs usually on it that interfaces with the mount on the camera and then it turns and usually there'll be a latch detent somewhere on the mechanism. I'm not sure on this particular model, oh there it is, there's a little slot right here, a pin drops into that slot and locks it in place, keeps the lens from rotating. That's a standard bayonet mount, it has a protruding bayonet, tubular bayonet, mounted on the end of the lens. The Canon lenses are exactly opposite of that. The bayonet was on the camera and not on the lens. Back then, on these early FDs and FL lenses, you had what they called the breech lock, and you have this locking ring. It's on the back outside of the lens, and you can turn it. And what this does is you unlock the lens okay stick it on the camera and then you would turn this ring and it would bring these bayonet tabs around over the lens tabs to lock it into place this is a kind of a unique design it works fine but it's kind of complicated in what's going on with it another thing about this lens is here's the aperture ring in the front okay it's up here on the front and then it has this preview ring right underneath it. It's got a little dot. There's a little black ring right here with a knurl on it. And you can only move it a little bit. Yeah. And what this ring does is it stops the lens down. As you can see, you can see the aperture opening and closing. Okay, if I close it, and then as I turn this aperture, you can see it opening it back up. This is the aperture preview ring is what it was for. So, you know, if you stopped it down to F5.6 and you wanted to see that, you would turn this ring and it would show you that preview in one mode. The lens had two modes. That's what this little lever on the back was, okay? And if you'll notice, if I throw this lever, it stops the lens down. This is the auto control for the aperture. This was the manual control for the aperture. It makes sense, right? This has to work in conjunction with your adapter. A common misconception with this Photosy brand particularly, because it's pretty common to get this one for the FD breech lock lenses, is it has a lock and open function that rotates. Here, it even detents. Move it over to this mic, since this is the audio stream I'll be using. This does nothing but work this little pin on the inside. If you can see, it's right down there, okay? And it moves that pin back and forth. That pin controls this aperture lever to give you auto aperture control. Basically, it turns over control so that as I turn this, you can see now, as long as I hold that lever, as I turn the aperture, it opens and closes. The moment I let off that lens, it stays wide open, no matter where I set it. So what we have to do is make sure this pin ends up on the right side of this pin. And this is where people make their mistake, and they can't get aperture control, or the lens won't breach properly. All right, so the first thing we got to do is make sure the, the bayonet locking ring on, on here is unlocked. That's fully uh, looking at it, it would be fully counterclockwise, okay? So you turn it as far as it'll go, and it basically lines up with the center so that, you know, it lines up with the F2 mark on it so that you know that it's unlocked. It's right there. There's a red dot on the ring, and there's a red dot on the mount. Those line up. When it's unlocked, it should slip right on. Once that goes on, then you turn the silver ring by itself until it locks. Now the lens is on the adapter. That's all that's doing. Now we're gonna look on the inside and make sure I got this on the right side. And I do not. I'm gonna try and get a close up of what's going on in here 
and put that as an overlay. But right now I've got it mounted backwards. So what I have is, is no matter where I set the aperture, it's shooting wide open. And the only way I can stop it down currently is to run this little preview ring. Let me open it, stop it down. I can stop it down with this. Then as I open the aperture, it'll open back up. But if I stop it back down, it doesn't. I have to move this little band again. And that's a problem a lot of people run into. All you have to do is get that pin on the correct side of this auto aperture control pin, and it'll do it like it should, okay? So what we have to do is take our lens back off, move this to the other position, put the lens back on, you just line up your two red dots, wiggle it, and it'll drop in, and lock the lens in place. Now, the pin is on the correct side of the plunger, so when I go to open and lock, now the aperture works like it should. It stops down, it opens up, just like normal. So you have to make sure that this pin on the lens is on the correct side of the controlling pin on the adapter. But that's what this ring that says lock and open on the adapter does, is it, is it controls that. It doesn't do anything with the latch on the lens proper. So I just wanted to make a video about that so that you could see what's going on here and how to install it. Because there's a lot of people who have been sending me comments and emails about how to get these lenses to couple up and they're having trouble getting it to work. Some of the lenses don't fit the mount for some reason. There's a, there's a inhibiting like surface here and there, but most of them will fit, but they'll end up with aperture problems or they can't get it to lock. They'll turn this thinking it's supposed to lock and it won't bite. And they don't realize you gotta turn this barrel on the lens until it gets tight. It doesn't have a detent, it just tightens down. I think it's just a taper lock is all it is. But you know, you just unlock it and then the lens just lifts out of the socket. So you just turn it till it gets tight and it's on the adapter, it's that simple. But that's all there really is to it. The lenses are great lenses. They generate a really unique look. So they're awesome to use for just general purpose photography. Get you one of them, play with it. The, the FDs like this one produce beautiful results. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer and I was really wanting to try and do something beneficial today and I think this will do that. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them, but if I need to reshoot this video and re-upload it because I left some kind of critical piece of information out, let me know. I'd appreciate to know it. So until next time, y'all get your camera out. Let's go take a picture with it, all right? We'll see you later. Bye-bye.